In this video, I will show you various methods how to see organic search traffic data in Google Analytics 4. If you just want to see general numbers of how many sessions did you get from organic search or maybe how many conversions or in other words, key events did you get, then you can do that by looking for a traffic acquisition report. The left sidebar of Google Analytics is highly customizable, so it might be located in a different location in your property, but in this particular property, it is available under acquisition. So here, if you go to traffic acquisition, here you will see the organic search row and how many sessions did you get, uh, what is the engagement rate, and if you scroll down, or sorry, scroll to the right, then you will see also revenue. If of course you have implemented e-commerce tracking, you will also see see how many key events did you get, key event rate, and so on. If you want, you can also change the primary dimension to something more specific like source medium. And then if you type, let's say, slash organic, it means that you will be looking only at those traffic sources where this particular text is available, slash, then space, and then organic. So if I hit enter, then I will see the search engines that drove traffic to this website and how many sessions did I get and all other metrics. If you want to see, for example, the landing pages of those sessions that came from organic search, there are several ways how you can do that. For example, we can switch back to session default channel group or primary channel group. Then we can remove this search keyword. Then you can click plus to add a secondary dimension and type landing page plus query string. And then we can search for organic search and then hit enter. So now you will see the landing pages that came from the sessions with the organic search. But this is not very convenient because these two columns take a lot of space. So if you want to see more columns, I mean metrics, then you could technically zoom out and see the numbers or there is another approach that you could apply. So maybe let me zoom in back and then I can look for a page which is mentioning landing pages. So I can click here. And right now these landing pages are looking at all traffic sources, not just the organic search, but we can narrow down. For example, the first option could be to add a filter. So click add filter and then type session source medium, then contains and then you can enter, let's say, organic, or maybe slash space organic, or you could select, let's say, session default channel group, and then exactly matches organic search. So click apply. And then you will see that the filter has been applied. It is applied only to you only for this particular moment. If you go to another report and then come back, this filter will go away. So this is a temporary filter. And then here you will see the landing pages. If you're wondering what is the not set here, I have a dedicated tutorial for that and I will post a link to it below the video. As I've said, this filter is applied only to this particular report and this particular moment. So if other people are using this property, they will not see it. But if you want to create a report which is more permanent and it would be available on the sidebar and other people would also see it, then here is how you can do that. I don't have enough permissions in this property, therefore I will switch to another one. And here I will go to library, then create new report create detail report, and then I will select blank. Here in the dimensions, I will select landing page. And here I can select landing page or landing page plus query string. This is up to you. Let's say that I will select just the landing page and then click apply. In the metrics, we can add various metrics, for example, sessions, we can add key events, we can also add session key event rate. If you have implemented e-commerce tracking and you're tracking purchases, then you could also include the e-commerce purchases or maybe, no, maybe purchase revenue. And let's say that this is for now, or maybe also users, total users. Then click apply. And right now this report is showing data of all traffic sources, not just organic search, but I can add a filter where session default channel group exactly matches organic search and then click apply. 
this filter will then be added right here. Then I can save this report. So we can click save, name it, let's say landing pages, organic search and click save. Then let's go back and add this report to the sidebar because right now it is not available. So this could be done by editing one of the collections. So here I have several collections, but most likely you will see either business objectives or life cycle. So whichever collection is already published, then click three dots next to it and edit. And then here you can first find that report. So landing pages, organic search. This is the one that I created, or maybe this one, I don't remember. I also had one report created like this in the past. So let's say that this is the report that I created right now in this tutorial. So now I could just drag and drop it to a particular section of the report, for example, the engagement section, and then click Save, save changes to the current collection, then back. And in the engagement section, right now, I will see landing pages, organic search. And this is the report that I have. Now I can see the landing pages of those sessions where people came to my site from organic search. Now I have returned to the demo property. And here another option how you can see just a particular traffic source is to use comparisons. Here I can click add comparison, then create new and then I could type let's say session default channel group exactly matches organic search, then click apply, then I can remove all users. And here I will see only those pages and because right now I'm looking at the pages and screens report. So it means that these pages might have been, you know, the second page of the session or the third or the last page, whatever. So here I see which pages were viewed in those sessions that came from organic search. In this property, I don't have enough permissions to save the comparison, but it is possible. So if you save the comparison, then other users will also be able to use it. Let me show you how that is done. So here I will click add comparison, I will click create new, and then I will enter session default channel group exactly matches organic search. And instead of apply, I will click save. And then let's call this let's say, organic search traffic like this and click confirm. So this will be added automatically, I can then remove all users. And let's imagine that I come back the next day to this particular property. So let me just maybe remove this, then I will go to let's say homepage, then I come back to the let's say engagement and all pages. And here, if I want to quickly add that organic search comparison, I can just do like this, I click add comparison, unselect all users, and then I select organic search traffic and then apply. So now I am looking at the data only related to organic search. And the cool thing about saved comparisons is that other users who have access to this property, they will also see that option right here. So basically, this kind of setup will save several clicks for each user who is using this property, because they will no longer need to enter the condition, they can just click the checkbox and that's it. And then one more option that I wanted to show is the explore section. So here we can build a table. And let's say that we will also be looking at the landing pages. So here in the dimensions, we can click plus and then enter landing page. So let's select this and click confirm. And then in metrics, we can select sessions, then users, and we will select total users, and then we can select let's say revenue and then choose purchase revenue and click confirm. Let's say that this is it. So now I can double click this to add it to the report and then double click these metrics to add them to the report as well. And we want to filter down only to organic search. If you try to use filters at this moment, you will click and you will see that nothing is related to let's say session default channel group. So to use that dimension in the filter, we have to add it to the report first, let's click plus, then enter session default channel group, select it, confirm it, and then we can use it in the filter. So let's say that we are looking for the session default channel group where it exactly matches organic search, and then click apply. What is important is that here we are using session default channel group. 
In Google Analytics, there is also another dimension, which is called just default channel group. So don't use that. If you want to see the data of sessions, then you should use the session default channel group. And also alternatively, instead of filters, you could use the segment. So we can say remove this. And instead, we will use segments and we will create a new segment, which is session segment. And here, session default channel group should exactly match organic search. And then we can name this organic search and hit apply, but it's disabled. Oh, that's probably because I did not save the condition. So if I apply it now and then click apply here, that segment will be applied to the exploration and I will see the data. And here it is. And this is how you can see organic search traffic data in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.